Hey folks, welcome to Codage. In this session, we will see how to integrate Slack notification in the AWS code pipeline. So let's get started. In this session, I will be using already created code pipeline. I have already created a video on how to create code pipeline from the scratch. So I will attach that video link in the video description. Now to add notification for each stage, we can add that notification from this button. But before configuring that, we will require to configure our Slack. So let's search one service that is AWS Chatbot. Okay, so here there is an option for configuring Slack. Let's click on the configure client. Okay, so we have redirected on the slack.com. So let's create a new workspace. So let me give the email address. Let's click on the continue. Let me get the code from the mail. Let me give the name of the company. Let's give it a codage. Give some name. Click on the next. Skip this date. Let's enter demo. Okay, so we have created our Slack account. Let's go back into our chatbot. Okay, let's select the Slack, configure the client. Okay, you can see the option now. So AWS chatbot is requesting permission to access Slack workspace. So let's allow that. Okay, so we need to configure a channel. Click on the channel. Let's give it a name as a CI CD config. Okay, channel type will be public. Let's create some channel name. Let's use demo or let's create a channel. Create channel CICD alert. Okay, click on the next. It will be public. Create. Okay, skip for now. Let's go back into a configuration. Let's click on the refresh button. Okay, you can see the channel name CICD alert. Now click on the role setting, create IAM role using template, yes, give it a name like select channel role, okay, we will keep option as a default one, yes, we require it only access, now select the SNS topic. So let's first create a SNS topic. Let's go into SNS service. Let's select the region as Mumbai. And give it a name, Slack hyphen topic. Next step, we will keep all the option as default one. Click on the create topic. Okay, so our topic is created. Let's go back into our configuration. Let's select our region that is Mumbai and select our topic. 
that is select topic okay let's click on the configure okay so we have configured our channel let's go back into our code pipeline now click on the notify button click on the create notification rule okay let's give it some name slack notification we want full or basic let's select basic one and we have to select events on which we want to trigger our notification so we will select action execution okay and let's select pipeline execution as well and let's select the configure target so you can see there is an option for aws chatbot okay and select the cicd config that we have just created and click on the submit okay so our notification is configured let's go back into our code pipeline and we will we will click on release change okay click on the release and let's go into our slack let's see if we are getting message or not okay we have received a message it is saying that code pipeline execution started then it is succeeded and then it also showing the stage which stage succeeded now the next stage is started that is a build stage let's wait for it to get completed So our build stage is completed let's go into our channel and you can see we have received a message for the build stage succeeded okay now it is showing that ECS deploy stage started let's go back into the pipeline let's wait for deploy stage to complete let's see in the channel As you can see, we have received message for code pipeline ECS deploy action succeeded. Let's go back into code pipeline. We can see our deploy stage is succeeded. So this is how we have received all the messages right from AWS. So we have seen how to configure notification on the Slack. Thanks for watching the video.